Hey there, sweeties. Jossie here, and welcome to my very first comic book news video. Yeah, I know. Supposed to be going up on Wednesday. Sorry about that. I've had to deal with some school stuff and then some stuff at home. And But I'm back, and you get my dancing eyebrows today. I was watching my last week's video, and my eyebrows, like, dance so much. And it's ridiculous. Like, they're always surprised. They're permanently surprised, and I don't understand why. So, uh, like I said, video will actually be next week on a Wednesday and not be on a Friday. So, nine times out of ten, if I don't record something on Wednesday, I will pretty much always record on Friday unless my schedule just does not allow me to. But I'm getting better with pre-recording, so it shouldn't happen again. But yeah, so I'm, I'm wearing Joker today. I'm repping the Joker. And the coolest part about this jacket... If you're feeling like Harley Quinn, you can get her too. I, if I do the Harley Quinn, I usually do my hair in pigtails, though, so that'll happen maybe another week, perhaps. Not sure yet. But all right, this intro is already two minutes way too fucking long, so let's jump into the news, shall we? News this week was actually pretty light. Uh, there was some cool to uh, TV, movie news, and then some decent comic book news but there's more movie news than comic book news so sorry about that but yeah so first thing on my list of things i literally wrote down everything toy man is going to be on the new supergirl tv show on cbs i believe it's cbs yeah i actually haven't gone into it but i've heard it's really good and i heard the actress is amazing so we'll see how I'll go and I'll, I'll catch up to those one day. I have a list of things in my notebook of shows I need to catch up on. And that is one of them. And Daredevil and like a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, so Toy Man's going to be on Supergirl. And he's going to be trying to find his son. And he's, he's a supervillain if you guys don't know. And I'm interested to see where it goes as soon as I start watching it. So if you guys have seen it, let me know down below if you guys enjoy it. I've gotten some mixed reviews, but I would love to know what you guys think about it. As for the next thing I news this week, we have Doctor Strange news. So, Doctor Strange is coming up, I think, this year or next year. And Doctor Strange is a movie with Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, my baby. Oh. You guys know I love me some Benedict Cumberbatch. But, and his name is so fun to say. Say it again. Benedict Cumberbatch. Right? But, yes, he is going to be Doctor Strange. And they've been teasing us with a bunch of, like, cool pictures one of them is you of course have benedict as dr strange and i will pop that up right now mm -hmm. and then the next f picture that they've showed us that people are really excited about is his little i'm gonna say say this wrong so i'm gonna read it it is the sanctum sanctorum sanctum sanctorum and that's kind of his little his area so we saw a little picture of the roof, which is really cool. I'm so excited to see what this movie does. Benedict is an amazing actor, and I'm just pumped to see what happens. But yeah, next thing about news is Michael Bay. I'm sure most of you guys will be really disappointed about this. I could care less, honestly. Michael Bay is only going to direct the next Transformers movie, and then he's not directing anymore. So if the franchise continues then he's not going to be a part of it, which, I don't know, I'm kind of neutral about it. I love the Transformers, well, I love the first Transformers movie, then I just felt like the next ones just weren't as good at all, and I love Transformers. I will take the TV show and the comic books over the movies any day, so I could really care less if Michael Bay is directing, but yeah, so, meh. <laughs> next thing is about that Deadpool movie oh my gosh I'm so pumped for Deadpool movie and it's coming out on my birthday so during the day I'm going to be watching that movie and then at night I'm going to get my drink on because I'm going to be 21 <laughs> so I'm going to um, have some adult beverages and it's going to be great but only then <laughs> I will drink again I just want to know that I can just so I can be like bam I D. there you go <laughs> um and the for Deadpool they have they're having a new new mutants movie. Uh there really hasn't been too much news on that, but there's one of the new mutants is actually going to be in the newest movie. So it is the 
girl and her name is Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I'm not too familiar with who she is, but I'm going to have to look her up and I'll maybe let you guys know in a later video more about it. But she's going to be in it. And apparently she's wearing a new Mutants uniform, so it's kind of like, oh, okay, cool. I love when movies kind of bring in different characters. I'm so happy to see who else is going to be in it. I just, I want Death to be in it. Can she be in it, please? Just one, just one little scene where he's like, damn, and like hits on her. And then he just has to hit on everybody else because that's what Deadpool does. And, um, next thing, pretty much the last thing on the news is Elektra is to be on Daredevil for the second season. And if you guys know who Elektra is, she's kind of the villainous slash they kind of fall in love. And she is going to be played by Alondi Young. Alondi Young. And I'm not familiar with her work, but I love Elektra. So we'll see where that goes. Like I said, I do have to catch up on my my daredevil movie in my tv show i'm we won't talk about the movie i'm talking about the tv show you guys know you guys saw it i just i can't i can't i can't even talk about it and that's pretty much all for for the news i was gonna start talking about george lucas but i figured that that's gotten enough press and you guys probably know about his comments at this point all I'm saying is he shouldn't have bit the hen that fed him. But that's all I will say on the subject. Because otherwise I'm going to get on a rant. Nobody wants that. Except next week. Week after next when I, I do my next ranting video. I know you guys like that. So yeah. And comic book news. This one is actually a lot lighter than the movie news. First thing is Poison Ivy. She is having her own comic book now. It's called The Cycle of Life and Death. The comic book art is done by the former X-Men artist, and his name is Clay Mann, and it's written by Amy Chu. I love how women are, are writing more comic books nowadays. I know it's it's always pretty much happened, but I'm excited to see how this goes. I'm glad she's getting her own little thing, because as much as I love Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn together, and that they have admitted that it is canon, I feel like Poison Ivy is a force in herself, and she should definitely get her own little little thing so i'm definitely putting that at the top of things that i need to read i gotta get back into my comic book someday soon uh, next thing is john berriman jack harkness malcolm merlin uh so many different amazing characters and also a writer kind of he kind of he him and his sister kind of co-write stuff but um he's really funny and he's attractive and he, he's in, been written a couple books, so we'll, we'll see where that goes. He's going to co-write a digital Arrow, the Dark Archer comic. Um, I don't know how I feel about comic books becoming put on digital on the computer. I love, I'm old school, I guess. I love physically flipping and turning the pages and getting paper cuts from the papers and uh little books big books i of course who wouldn't love the bigger comic books from the olden days but for right now we get about 20 pages and i'll take it so we'll see uh, i'll probably check it out and see what it is but i'm not super pumped about it as for the next thing doctor who so of course i have to talk about doctor who guys but their main thing is they're having a new variant cover coming up for Doctor Who the Tenth Doctor number 2.6. At least that's what the name that I read online is. And um, the variant is actually referencing the Smiths, 1986, The Queen is Dead. Ooh, I memorized that at the top of my head. And it's drawn by Simon Myers, so I'll probably pop that up now. I always love when people do old school kind of things and make it modern i think that's cool and it's always nice to see uh, something referencing the smith so who wouldn't want that but yeah so that's honestly about it with the news this week pretty much the next thing is something everybody probably knows about but i'm excited about anyway they are doing a second wave of doctor who pop finals and it's the Companions Edition and the Ninth Doctor. I don't know why the 
Ninth Doctor was not in the first one, but he's in the second one. And he has one where he's with a banana and one with a sonic screwdriver. And then we have River Song. Yes. And then we have Rose Tyler. Yes. And then we have Sarah Jane. Yes. She's the best. Yes. I still haven't seen Amy Ponderori, though, so get up on that pop vinyls, please, and thank you. Anyways... That is about it for the news this week. Really, it was light. Next week, it'll be a little bit better. Hopefully, it'll be some more exciting news. And it'll actually be before 10 o'clock and on a decent day. So, next video for this one is going on Wednesday with its new, much more creative name. And then Monday is my unboxing video for my statues. Quality isn't as good as it was. Uh, is It is in my newer ones, but... Uh, that's just kind of, it was the first one I got before I got my new microphone. So hopefully you guys like it anyway. And then after that is going to be my, my ranting video. So I guess I'll see you guys then. But unfortunately, that's all for this video. But we will always have the next one. Smile later.